Monica, what's wrong? <laughs> it's stress. Don't insult me. I've been married to you enough years to know when you are angry, when you are happy, and when you are scared. Well, it is stress, and I am... Monica, to... I am not leaving this office until you tell me what's going on. What is it? It's, um... It's one of those things that, uh, your mom hides because she doesn't want you to find it, but... you do it's a release farm it means my mom's really sick it's a biopsy yeah they they uh they tell you it's a test but it's a lie so is everything after that and then they just tell you to stay positive I shall make it. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, come here. Hey, it's just, it's just a form for a test, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't mean your mom's gonna die. Yeah, it does. It means the cancer's bad. better than anybody on this planet which I think can be a blessing or a curse I'm not sure which at this time I am worried there's no reason to be this is a natural phase in a woman's life I'm sure it can be unsettling and uncomfortable and whatever else menopause brings with it but we have been through much worse things together monica and i will be with you the whole way and i don't care if your mood swings go from africa to siberia it won't matter it's um it is not that simple yes it is look we swore that we were going to grow all together and we are going to do that 30 years from now, when our hair is getting white, just like mother's, I am still going to be staring at you, thinking you are the most beautiful woman in the world. And I will think to myself, I am so lucky. I know that menopause is going to be uncomfortable for you, but you know what would be much worse than that? If we had to go it alone, Monica, and that's not going to happen. So if one of your fears is the fact that I can't handle this, this whole phase in your life, forget about it. I will forever be here drowning in those gorgeous eyes of yours. Besides, where else would I go? I live in your house. You know how much I love you. I don't know uh, uh, what's coming. I don't know how I'm gonna feel or how I'm gonna look. Beautiful. <laughs> well, maybe unrecognizable. Or at best, unbearable. Never. But one thing you can count on is my love for you. Seems to be a habit I just can't break. Well, I'm gonna hold you to that. So, are we clear? Yeah. Want to drive home together? Sure, okay. 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 I got a couple of things to do, and then I'm going to pick you up in 30 minutes, all right? I'll be ready. Give me a kiss. See you later. Okay. Monica and uh, I want to schedule that biopsy. Stop worrying about me. See, security everywhere. I'm going to be safe. 
Is this your mom's office? Yeah. Okay, go in. I'll wait for you. Well, sh shouldn't you call a guard? I mean, to get a ride home? Or... No, I want to wait for you. I may want to go home with my mom, though. Right. Is there, like, a, a, a number that Sonny gave you? No, or... hey, listen. If I call, Sonny's going to know that I didn't follow orders. Okay, I'll catch a cab. I'll go straight back to Alexis. I promise. Xander, I really don't need anything happening to you right now, please. Nothing will happen to me, okay? Now go in. Your mom's waiting for you. Thanks for bringing me here. You're welcome. your message. I'm so glad to see you. you Hello. Something wrong? Mom, I picked this up by accident. Is your cancer back? Listen, don't you jump to conclusions now. You see, Dr. Meadows just, she noticed something. It thought she uh, wanted to have it looked at, and it's probably nothing, just a cyst. Okay. okay? Hey, sweetie, don't you know I love you too much to ever leave you, no matter what the results are? You know, if this is a reoccurrence. Well, then I'll just fight it and I'll beat it. Oh, sweetie. Hey, there's no way in this world that I would check out without seeing you graduate, walk down the aisle, have children Mom, of your own. Mom, You don't need to make me feel better. I want to take care of 